Should we send a picture of you to mommy? Here we go. Look at that waggity tail. Look at that waggity tail. Mwah. Okay, here we go. Welcome explorers. Happy fall. We are here in central Illinois and it is frigid right now and the temperatures are just supposed to get colder and colder. So I got to get the water out of the GeoPro. I got to drain the system to prevent any cracks from the pipes or water system or fixtures. And I'm going to show you how to do that today, right after this hot cup of coffee. One of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to find the low point drain, which on the 19 FBS you have uh, right here, the fresh water drain. And we can see under here, just open that up. So that low point drain will get the last drops of water out of your freshwater system. But there's a lot more to do. I'm just going to get that started because it's a small drain and it takes a while. So that's the first step that I do. So the next step I do is I turn on the water pump. And after the water pumps on and the system's pressurized, I'm going to use my shower to rinse out the gray and black water. It's already empty, but I just want to use the pressure that's already in the system to get everything cleaned out good well. Then I'll open up the faucets until you start getting the air that goes through there. And then we'll get into taking off the filter and making sure everything's drained there. And then at the final step, we're going to go and we're going to drain the hot water heater tank which I'll show you how to do that also. You can now see in here that the water system is kind of running out of water. And so I'm gonna turn off the shower head. And I can hear that water pump uh, working in the background because it's the water pressure is low there's gonna there's getting some air in the system so if you're not in the habit of using your outdoor shower remember that's going to have some residual water in it also i'm going to go turn the pump off but leave the faucets on just to kind of if there's anything in the hose let it drain i'm going to get the gray water out of here and there should be plenty in here for a nice little And again, that's just clean, fresh water. I had already dumped the black and gray water. So I'm just getting the last bit of water out of the system. And I'm gonna leave my vents open right here to kind of assure that they uh, just drain completely. So here you have the fresh water drain still going. And in fact, that will probably drain for another hour. So uh, it's a slow drain, but again, it gets everything out of the system. So now on to draining the hot water system. You have a valve here and you have a nut here. Both of those need to be drained and I'll show you how we're going to do that. Now we have this valve here. We're going to blow some. So that's, that's a good sign. There's not a lot of water pressure in there anymore. So that is open and I'm going to just leave it open for right now. And we're going to get in here with this socket, a one and one sixteenth socket. It's a big boy, but it's what you need to get in and get that drain plug pulled. There's a little switch right there that says on off. We'll turn that off. You can see it's not completely square. So if you had a longer socket, it would even be better. But another good point would be, don't do this if you had just had your hot water on. You're gonna burn yourself if you do this right after you have your hot water on. All this system seems like it's completely drained, but when we pull this plug, you'll see how much is actually stuck in the, the system. So the low point drain was just at a trickle. Everything seemed to be out of the system, yet when we pulled this, you can see there's still a ton of water in the system. If you would get into freezing temperatures with this full, more than likely it would destroy your hot water heater. 
this is a filament you can see uh, this is after four years it's got some corrosion on it I'm not exactly even sure what I'm looking at it's always looked like this I don't know if that's buildup or that's how the filament is supposed to work but uh, it seems to work and I'm just very careful with this so now I'm gonna leave this off completely and just let it drain there's still one more system left though and whether you want to get to it from the outside and kind of crawl in there or take the panel off from the inside we have to get the water filter and all that water out for me personally I have short arms so uh, it's a stretch for me unless I want to crawl all the way inside there to to get it out so for me personally I just open up the panel from the inside and right underneath the bed and pull it out from there it's pretty easy so remember we have two filters down there we have this small one and then we have the large one so i like to cover up my wires and the floor this is a puppy training pad but towels or anything will work and you're going to be pulling the large one off first and then we'll pull the small one off because it's lower so we have this tool and the trick is is to try not to spill a lot of it so that's what i'm going to do right now Hey, how about that? Barely a drop spilled. Right. Propane tanks are coming off. I'm just gonna leave them connected, but they're shut off here at the valve. Another thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect the battery um, when you are sure you don't need any more power this year is this switch right here. And we're just gonna turn it and there's an on and an off and you're really only supposed to do stuff with the battery if you know that it's going to be for an extended period of time. Even if we were parked for a week or two, not using the GeoPro, we would not touch the battery disconnect because that's going to prevent the batteries from receiving any power from the solar panels or anything like that. So it's just like a end of the season type deal for those battery disconnect switches. Oh, and a quick disclaimer, I'm not a dealer. I'm not a representative. This is just trial and error what I've learned over the last four years of running uh, the GeoPro around the country. So there's a lot of people that have a lot of knowledge on the ins and outs of the camera. Maybe they designed it, maybe they're a dealer. So read the comments because it's very possible I could be doing this whole thing ass backwards. It works, but read the comments because there's some smart people that follow this channel that always have good things to say in the comments even when it's like hey what the hell are you doing so i'm just doing my best it works this is not the entire winterization process where you would put antifreeze in or blow it out this is simply a process to get all the water out of your system the best we can wanted to introduce you to Bodie. he's our newest member of our family right it's a little Bernese Mountain Dog Poodle Mix, right? Say hi. So look for future episodes with Bodie. Thanks for joining us and hopefully this uh, helped you out. Oh, all right, go run. Well, hopefully that helped you know how to winterize and gave you some tips and tricks to get your water system drained. It's been about two hours and that low point drain is still going. So again, Read the comment sections on all these videos. There's a wealth of information out there. And we'll see you next time on GeoPro Adventures. Come here, Bodie. Come here. Oh, all right. Good boy. Good boy.